top of the top bully fam what it do tbk west back with another video today we got a few things lined up you know nothing so spectacular Just a little bit of dog business you know but uh first uh, i'm gonna go make a couple of stops and then get right to it all right y'all stay tuned All right, Bully fam, got a fresh cut, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go make one more stop, and then we're gonna head back to the crib, y'all. See what we got cooking, all right? So, y'all stay tuned. All right, Bully fam. For anybody who uh, ever been to the H, you know there's two famous jewelers. You got Johnny Dang and you got King Johnny. Some people mix them up, but they both sell their jewelry to rappers and all that stuff. So both known, so we're gonna go into King Johnny real quick. Might might take y'all to Johnny Dang one day when I grab something. <laughs> Boy, Andy, what up? What you brother? Yes, sir. Yeah, I see y'all got some, some new pieces. You got blue eyes? Yeah. It's one of my little productions. You good? Yeah. I like it too. <laughs> For my viewers, you know I got a YouTube channel. They, I, I know a few of them think my jewelry fake, so I had to take them to the world class King Johnny. This is my boy Andy, y'all. If y'all need some jewelry, y'all need to come holla at him, man. Y'all ever in the H? You know what I'm saying King Johnny is the spot to hit, man. You see they. Got whatever you need. Custom pieces too. Got both my custom pieces made here. Wedding rings. Hey, look, y'all. This is that old school Slim Thug. Paul Wall, Mike Jones rings right here. Real good pinkies. They got chunkier pinkies in this. this wedding rings. Let me show you all these pinkies real quick. Yeah, that's for Andy. See y'all, look at these custom rings right here, man. These is like fire, y'all. You gotta come to King Johnny. I'm trying to tell you guys. They got the best shit, man. Look at these custom rings right here. You see this? Come here. Get your bust down. And guys, I know y'all like, hey, this is just you know, materialistic jewelry stuff. But nah, guys, this is actually appreciate some value. If you didn't know, Rolly's appreciating value. Okay. So you can also change your bezel too. So. Yes, sir. That bust down right there. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna stop boring y'all with the jewelry talk. Let's get back to the dogs. All right, we out here in the yard, y'all. So as you can see, we 
got Maya. I just want y'all to see, like, you know, just get a little comparison on how big she is compared to her mom. Cause um, when she by herself, she looked like a little tiny little puppy. But as you can see, she getting up there. She almost as big as mom's. Yes, sir. You can see she's more compact. And this is her pops right here, Mr. Lou Ferrigno. So this is a family right here, y'all. Got this beautiful blue try. Her tan points didn't show up in her eyes when she was little. But they showed up later. Yes, sir. The last litter we did, I bred these two twice, y'all. So the last litter we did between these two, um, we got a we had a blue try as well, but it was a boy, and uh, we rehomed him. But her, I had to keep her. You know what I'm saying? Cause she's the truth. Yeah, no. I'm trying to keep a try. Look how big this boy Lou is compared to like, look how swole my dude is. This dude is huge, man. It's crazy big. And this like, this is kind of close. Like I wish y'all could see how these dogs is short, bruh. You know what I mean? Real deal shortness right here. But yeah, I'm so happy we got uh, Maya out of this litter because it's a good legacy to carry on with Cardi. We do got Sprinkles. As y'all know, Sprinkles is a direct Cardi daughter. And... Who else is a direct party kid? Oh yeah, blue sign, direct party kid. Y'all see, look at the bone, look at the bone in the comparison, like the thickness between her and her mom, bro. Like, you can see this is a good mix between her dad and her mom. You know what I'm saying? Glad I brought all three of them out here, like, cause if y'all would've just see these, see Maya by herself, y'all would just be like, man, that's just a little puppy. Maya, the truth, man. I'm bringing her to the show too, man. Just a good representation of the camp. Build. She all muscle. You know what I'm saying? And the good thing is. She may be muscular like her dad, but she got that fat gene in her from her mama, so knows how crazy them kids gonna look. <clears throat> Solid brother. Charge! <laughs> hey man, let's see what this is about right here, y'all. This is like good family time right here. This is mother and daughter bonding time right here. You know what I mean? Got the dad in the picture. It's beautiful, man. You know? <laughs> Beanie, man. Man, ears getting pulled by. Yeah, it feels gonna be cold. I'm glad, actually, you know, it, I prefer, I prefer it to be colder at, you know, I never went to a dog show where it was cold as hell. So, I prefer it to be more cold, you know what I mean? Because, I went to a dog show when it's hot as hell. One of them. No good. Straight up, man. Dogs be out there falling out. You know what I'm saying? Trying to run and walk on the of birds. You got to keep breathing hard and shit. And you like, damn. I'm gonna beat the heat. Man, that's gonna be frosty out there. It's gonna be chilly for now. We can, uh, I'm 
ain't playing over there. We just come to the restaurant test and making sure his female's levels is right, man. He, he a whole, he a specialist with that. He not playing, man. His female's take. <laughs> he teaching me. He dropped me so much science. But look, y'all, when I give y'all some, a better understanding, damn, I'm such and shit. When I give y'all a better understanding on how this uh, suggestion on level is supposed to go, yeah, I got that from Jason, man. That's right there. Man. So, but we are, we getting the suggestion on this thing too as well, man. Cause, you know about y'all, but I'm tired of paying for them suggestion on test, man. In Cali, I had to plug it to that Angel Care Animal Hospital. I was paying 60 bucks. Out here, man, you gotta pay $95 for Brit Moore. Brit Moore is like one of the top animal hospitals who do the progesterone test. And they they know that they're like probably one out of two or three who actually does it in the city. So they be taxing that good 95. But uh, like I said, man, I'm about to go ahead and spend a little three, what's three bands, four bands. Go ahead and spin that for the uh, progesterone test, y'all. And the good thing about that is you could do the reverse progesterone as well. Because it comes with the centrifuge. So, yeah, man, that's, that's what I'm at with, it, man. I done spent 100 million 60s. You know, the good thing about Angel Care, they used to have it, you know, on your 10th visit or your 10th progesterone test, you get it, get, you get it for free. But, yeah, yeah, I'm good. That's a lot of bread to add up, man. Three or four dogs. After three or four dogs, you could have went and got you a, the machine, you know. Chill, y'all ain't gonna hold you. We out of here, man. I just, let's go to the next scene, man. I wanted y'all to check out these beautiful dogs. Who do we have back here? What is this? Little sprinkles. She was part of the family too. You know, half sisters. Y'all already saw her. All right, y'all. Let's go to the next scene. Alright y'all, so we're about to get ready for the show, man. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to load the truck up the night before. So um, we got our grass that we're gonna cover the table. Remember if y'all seen the episode, it's 12 feet long, so I'm gonna uh, measure it down to six and then cut it. And then we're gonna load the truck up real quick just so it can make things smoother and easier, man. So we, you know we won't forget anything in the morning. Better just load the truck, load the car up the night before, man. So it's a lot of little small things you might forget. All right, let's get it.
cut it for six feet. So y'all can see, this is about all you need right here. Most tables six feet. If you got two tables, maybe you got two both side by side, you would, uh, you know, split it in half for that. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna bring this, uh, cause I'm gonna use this one probably for the uh, rumble in the jungle. So I don't know, man. But I right, really found. So I'm about to load the truck right quick. Um, basically, I'll try to go over everything that we need when we go. Uh, hopefully, I don't forget nothing, man. All right. But if it's not, then I can always move that middle row. All right, Bully fam, we got the van loaded. As you can see, we got about three cages. Um, we got the good old wagon. Um, we got banners. We got three chairs. Um, got two uh, travel cages. Taking uh, Lou Ferrigno, Maya, and Landlord. Um, I may possibly take Serena and Seven. I don't know yet, y'all, but let's see what else we got in the uh, middle. Damn. All right, over here, man, we got the, uh, the table cover. We got the water. We got water bowls, leashes. Baby wipes, puppy pads, uh, portable battery phone chargers. Uh, we got the artificial grass to lay on the table. We got gloves. We got treats. And uh, pretty much, I think that's it, y'all. If I'm forgetting something, I'll probably leave it on the screen. But yeah, man, we ready to go. So now we can just give everybody a bath in the morning. Load up, ride out, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get it, man. All right, y'all. I was watching a few of my last videos, and I was like, yo, my outro is whack. So, this is the outro. I want to say thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all for commenting. I appreciate y'all for liking and subscribing. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right? This is TBK West. We out of here. Gone.